Hello class, and welcome to Miss Jojo's FTF Beast School. In today's lecture, we will be diving into the basic fundamentals of being beast. How many of you are having trouble with this? Oh, all of you. Well, perfect. This lesson will cover everything from tips and tricks to strategies. So listen up, because you don't want to flunk the pop quiz at the end of class. Wahahaha. <laughs> Let's begin. The most important part about being beast is using your beast perk, Runner. This perk gives you a 3 second speed boost, so you'll need to use it wisely. Avoid using Runner when the survivor is next to an open door, window, vent, or too far away to catch up to. Instead, you'll want to use Runner when the survivor is less than or equal to 2.5 JoJo's away. And again, make sure your target is not right next to any open doors, vents, or windows. If you find yourself in a scenario where you're very close to hitting a survivor but they jump through a window, you can jump through and use runner immediately to get a quick sprint. However, this speed boost only lasts about one second, so you'll need to be very close to the survivor to hit them. Um, excuse me miss, what if the survivor's already halfway through the vent? Alright students, next I'll be showing you how to hammer flick. This trick is very useful for getting a survivor as they crawl through a vent. To hammer flick, you'll want to stand parallel to the wall and right at the edge of the vent. If the vent is on your left side, click to swing your hammer while making a J-shaped curve with your mouse. This should be done in one swift motion, not two separate movements. If the vent is on your right side, you'll still want to stand parallel, but leave some distance between yourself and the wall. You're going to do the same thing as the left side, but make a backwards J instead. This side is trickier than the left side, but once you start your homework and practice it, it will very easily become second nature. Uh, if I already completed this assignment, is there anything else I can do? For those of you who are ahead, here is the challenge for you. This will be extra credit if you do it. This is going to be slightly more advanced, but nothing a little practice can't fix. Since window climbing is no longer possible, there is a new alternative. I learned this trick from my friend Magic, who is here to help demonstrate. To do this, you will need to line up straight against the wall, leaving some distance between the window. Press W and A while looking straight at the wall. Once you see the broken glass of the window, quickly drag your mouse right, left, then right again to flick. Flicking is supposed to be really fast, so make sure you do your homework so that you can get it up to speed. For the opposite side, press W and D and this time flick left, right, left when you see the glass. I heard you can hit through doors. Is that true? Sure thing. The next beast trick is called a wall bang. This trick essentially allows you to hit survivors through a wall or a door. All you have to do is make sure the survivor is right up against the wall or door and spam your hammer rapidly at least three times or more. If you have footsteps, this will definitely be easier and possibly more accurate, but if you don't use footsteps like me, then you'll have to mainly rely on prediction. Speaking of prediction, Sometimes it is the best method to catch a survivor. Let me show you an example. Instead of continuing to chase after the survivor, predict where they are going and meet them there. This method will not guarantee you success every time, so I recommend using it when the survivor is farther away and you can't catch up to them. Another strategy as Beast is to leave certain doors closed or open at all times. This will help ensure how quickly you get to survivors and the likeliness of trapping them and ultimately capturing them. Here are the main doors I like to keep open or closed.
as you play more and more Flea, you will be able to develop more of your own strategies, but in the meantime, I hope some of these tips and tricks will help you get started. Oh, what's that, sweetie? Oh, that's right! It's time for your pop quiz! Type your answers in the comments and I'll grade your work. First question, how many JoJo's away should you use Runner? Next question, what kind of curve should you make when hammer flicking? Final question, how many times should you spam your hammer to wall bang? Time's up, students. I no, play. I didn't Submit your answers in the comments and I will let you know if you passed or if you have to repeat my class. But for now, good job today. You are dismissed.